So we're down in Mill Lane today doing a bit of pre-MX National practice. Ollie Colmer, Boston Gilbert, yeah, they're putting in some good laps. So just going to get them hydrated now with some whole shot. Then they're going to go back out and play a little game of cat and mouse. that I kind of really wanted or Boston definitely didn't want so he um, basically uh, on the face of the jump come up short and it just spat him over the front of the bar and he ended up doing a cartwheel over it so anyway thank god nothing's broken nothing was badly damaged you know uh, just he's badly bruised and a bit beaten up so he's gonna rest a little bit and um, I don't know we'll see how he is in a couple of days see if he's got any mobility and everything else and uh, hopefully he might be okay if not I'll still be at MX Nationals so we are off to the MX Nationals and we are racing at Canada Heights. Um, as you would have just seen in yesterday's kind of like mini vlog, um, Boston had a bit of a tumble, you know, to say the least actually. He really did have a big, big crash and, uh, you know, it was uh, quite a traumatic thing really. But he's had a lot of rest, he's had some painkillers, and some anti-inflammatories, um, got up this morning and feels a lot better but his body is aching like quite a lot so what we're going to do is we're going to we, I'm up there anyway obviously we've got to stand up there uh, Boston did want to sort of like you know not put his leg over a bike at least try so we're going to do that tomorrow we're going to sort of go out for qualify um, he's going to see how the bike feels see how his body feels and then make a decision based on that so hopefully he'll be good and then we'll be coming back with some good videos of the weekend if not you're just going to watch plenty of the uh, other 85 small wheel big wheel riders going bang at it but anyway here we go mx nationals canada heights is a local one How's that feel? It's sore there. Sore? Okay. So just for the sake of the film, that's the erector spine, eh? Yeah. In the thoracic region. That is very tight. Right. And that'll be causing, caused from this bruising area just here, as you can see. Okay, so it's pulling everything like in yeah. together. How's that feel that side? Same? Yeah. I know, to give support. We picked up the glutes, SIJ, so it's all supported in there. And later on, we'll put a lymphatic drainage taping on to bring that bruising right out. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
like beyond words, you know, this is where it matters, you know, in motocross, in any kind of extreme sport, you know, when you're hurt, you know, when your body's telling you to stop, to quit, do you know, when you keep pushing and you keep pushing because the smell of victory, the taste of victory outweighs all of that, all of that quitting bullshit, you know, I mean, this is where it matters, you know, he's literally fighting out there, do you know what I mean, his back is killing him, he's been on the table three times this morning for John Mitchell, he's had painkillers and everything else, man, he's got a big black arse and black lower back, and he's, uh, he's holding on to third. Okay, so I'm just here with Boston. We've just finished day one. He finished three, uh, four and three, which was an amazing sort of thing. As you would have seen earlier, he was, uh, you know, nursing a pretty bad back. Um, so we got up this morning, Boston, and how was your body feeling? So, yeah, my body was telling me, like, Okay, and then so so then we went and saw John Mitchell. John yeah. Mitchell uh, is a, is the sports physio here. Uh, he offers treatments on site. Uh, what did he do, boss? He massaged my back um, and put tape on it, so that made it feel like I had more support when I was riding. Perfect. Okay, so you did that, and then you said one of the things to me. You said your body feels like you can't do this, but your mind was telling you what? That I had to. So it was a mind of a matter thing, and you didn't want to give in to your body, did you? No. We made a bit of a deal. We said we're going to go out for qualify, see how your body feels. You came in from qualify. How did you feel? Horrible. You felt horrible, but what did I say to you? That a champion goes through pain and he doesn't quit. It's a good day. We just walked the track. There's some big ruts. So, how do you think it's going to be tomorrow? Uh, well, they probably will put quite a bit of water on it tonight, and then it. Probably rougher tomorrow because of pros. The pros are here, right? So, okay, so you're going to see some of the pro action tomorrow anyway, but you're also going to see Boston back in action. You better have a bit of dinner now. Mum's here, you're yeah. going to get some grub on you, and he's going to have a nice night's nice rest. <laughs>
nice little healthy crowd. So in sixth position this weekend, give it up for number five, Liam Bennett. Yeah. Liam, are you here? Or have you hit the road? No, he's here. Nice one, mate. If you want to just get in there, we'll try and get the others up with you as quickly as we can. Fifth position this weekend, number 698, Ollie Addy. Well done, Ollie. Good ride in the last motor. Uh, Okay, in fourth position this weekend is number 122, it's Charlie Reynolds. Getting a squirt from water as he comes out. Well done, um, well done, Charlie. Uh, third this weekend, nearly winning the last moto. Uh, give it up for Boston Gilbert. Uh, second, uh, again, he was charging in this last moto. It's number 171, R.I. Alcock. Look at him. With the uh, MX National shirt. And your overall winner this weekend, a great ride at, in the last race there to come from dead last on the first corner to win all four. Give it up for Regal Husqvarna's Oli Coma. And of course, he gets the uh, championship red plate, so he's edging closer. Is it red or gold? It's red. He's still got, he's not quite there yet. Got another round to go, uh, which of course is the 1st and 2nd of September uh, to come. And your overall winner this weekend at round five in the MX2, it's Revo Husqvarna's Mel Pocock.